Gary Player, what a pleasure to have you on Bloodline. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us. I think a few people might be surprised because if they think Gary Player, they think international golfer and not necessarily the horseman. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your story and horse racing. Well, first of all, uh, you know, I've been very blessed and success that I've had in life in the field of athletics and now as a farmer breeding racehorses. And if you ask me, it's hard to choose because uh, I'm very thankful for all the success I've had. But if you ask me to choose, I choose the farming because uh, this is the true meaning of life. You can enjoy the birds, the rain, being, having some routine, being with your family, having tea with your wife in the morning, being with your grandchildren, doing things with them, raising horses, seeing the babies, working on genetics. I study genetics at least an hour a day. The conclusion is I know a hang of a lot about nothing, <laughs> but uh, that's the fascination of it. And uh, really, uh, besides the horse breeding and racing, uh, we do other things like sheep and cattle and, uh, and crops and our own fruit and our own vegetables because I'm a vegetarian. So you're quite strict on your diet. Have you been like this throughout your career? When I was a young man, you could eat meat and chicken and fish. Now it's a different world. Wow. It's, it's completely changed. So, but for the last 10 years, very, very strict. And you've got you to get thinner as you get older. And I mean, I still do a thousand sit-ups a day. In fact, without boasting, I could beat most 20-year-olds 20, most 20 in a fitness contest at 75. So with 21 grandchildren to enjoy yes, the farm. keep you very busy. And we sit down at a table and we have a black grandchild, we have an Italian grandchild, we have a Puerto Rican, we have a great mixture of grandchildren. In fact, they don't understand each other's accents. <laughs> so, so really the rainbow nation, isn't it's it? It's a so rainbow nation one. and we all to be there together. And if I want to enjoy that, I've got to stay in shape. Yeah. Most 75 year olds, well, most of my friends are dead. Most of my friends are so fat, they haven't seen their knees in the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the horse racing. Yeah. So on the one side, you're a horse a breeder. Would you say that is the business side? That's and the then business. of course, you're also an owner yourself. So would you say that is the passion side of horse racing? The passion side is both, but the real passion is breeding. That's what I classify ourselves as a breeder. Although I have a lot of partners that we race in partnership with and have great fun. And uh, so, uh, basically, uh, we have a very big farm on the Orange River. We probably have, without boasting, and I've traveled more miles than any man that's ever lived, and I've visited all the great studs farms of the world. But there is no stud farm, and I'm not boasting, that can raise horses like we can. It's 13,000 acres on the Orange River, no fertilizer, sweet felt, which is great, very nutritious. All our crops are all organically done, no fertilizer the water probably in the top three in the world. Water lends itself to longevity. Water lends itself to strong bone and to a strong heart. So this is obviously a great advantage for raising horses. And all the, most of the great racehorses in the past have been raised in the Karoo. Those were the, in fact, during the wars, the English went and bought the horses from the old Afrikaners because the horses were so powerful and so yeah. strong. Yeah. And do you think that will attract international um, buyers to our country so we can get some foreign, foreign capital and well, injection yeah, within the question. local stock? Yeah. Good question. Sorry I interrupted you there, uh, Jackie. Um, the horse industry, first of all, breeding and racing, is a great employment of people. It's one of the top ten industries. I think it's one of the top five, but I'm going to stay in the clear. In the top industries in South Africa today. Uh, it's a great thing for tourism. Many people are touring to South Africa because we have a champion trainer like De Kock and Michael Bass and other trainers like that. We are breeding. We've got the Oppenheimers. We've got the Ruperts. We've got the, uh, the Slacks. We've got so many uh, Marcus Eusters, big people going into the breeding, employing more people, bringing more people, investing in our country. I have a lot of people coming out to South Africa wanting to do horse partnerships with me from overseas. Next year, we're going to have our, through the uh, brilliant idea of a Mrs. Rupert, Gaynor Rupert, who's got the horse bug. You see, the horse, is a, the horse business is a disease, the same as golf is, and she's got it. And so now next year, I don't know if you saw the announcement I made Queen's on behalf Plates, of them, yes, yes. A million dollar race. Wonderful. Bringing horses from over the world to yeah. come and compete here. For the first time for in, first in time. South Africa. Yes. First or time. Africa for that matter. First time. So do you think, Gary, that this is the way forward? 
you know, if you're looking at, at, at horse racing currently in South Africa, do you think that is the answer, putting South Africa in the map and making it more international, you know, um, appealing? Well, first of all, we've been breeding. We've been breeding a lot of very good horses in South Africa. You go back, we had Colorado King, we had Bold Tropic, we had um, our great horse, uh, uh, Horse Chestnut, yeah. and so forth and so forth. And Michael de Kock has really ta ta raised the bar. Right. He's, he's got something, uh, you know. Why is a man a better golfer? Why is a man a better businessman? God has loaned them a certain talent that you cannot describe. Michael de Kock's got that. There he is winning races all over the world for us. And people, I can tell you, because I'm traveling to all these places, are saying, wow, South Africa breeding great horses. And what a trainer you've got there. Look at us. You, you, you're doing so well. You're beating us in all these places. Well done. So now we're going to attract the people. But the main thing for me is we're creating jobs. And that in South Africa is so important.